So OnTech reached out to me to see if I could test out their Mopa Compact 60 watt fiber laser. I said, sure, why not? There's some tools in my garage that deserves a personal touch. So let's get started. I really like OnTech's slogan, beaming with possibilities. That's cool. This is the OnTech Mopa Compact 60. It is a 60 watt Mopa fiber laser with a JPT source. The marking area is 5.9 by 5.9 inches or 150 millimeters square. Max marking speed is 10,000 millimeters per second. Engraving accuracy is 0.01 millimeters. It can do color marking on metals. It can also engrave many types of metals, plastics and rocks. It could be used with Lightburn or EasyCAD 2. It has 100,000 plus hours of service life and it has also US support with a two year manufacturer warranty. The box was received undamaged and everything is well packed in some high density foam. It is nice to see that OnTech is supplying some nice high quality safety goggles. These are CE certified as you can see on the lens itself. It also has uh, lenses on the sides. So I really encourage other manufacturers to step up their game for eye safety. Now you want to be extremely careful while removing the galvo um, because it is uh, connected with a fiber cord to the base of the machine. So I carefully removed the foam and I placed the gavel to the side and I removed the base being careful not to mess around with that nice long fiber optic cord. Then I just carefully placed the gavel and the base on the table. Assembly is very straightforward and easy. For instance, the Z is held down by two screws, one on each side. And of course the Allen key barely could get in there. So you're gonna take a couple turns to get these locked in place. And here's the other side as well. That's pretty darn easy. Now the gavel is held on with four screws and there is a way to move this back and forth. You can see that there is a little bit of play there to move it backwards and forwards. Um, what I did was actually I moved it all the way to the front. So you want to just make sure that the gavel is centered with the build plate. And that's it. It is all together. Pretty simple indeed. And it's pretty compact. It does weigh quite a bit though. This particular model is about uh, 40 pounds. So make sure it's on a real stout table or workbench. Now, next to your Z axis, you'll find your labels for your source and model number and serial number. So if you ever have a problem, you'll be asked this information when you call support. Again, it offers a two year warranty and the support is US based, which is kind of nice to have. The front has a rotary axis, emergency stop and a key for to turn it on. So it's nice to have those available. So little hands don't get on it. The back, you have your foot pedal switch, rotary access input, USB, the fiber optic cable, and the power, and a cooling fan. Now, I cannot tell you how many times I have forgotten to take off the lens cap before operating the laser. And you see these two other uh, little laser pointers there? That's to help you with uh, adjusting your focus on the material. You also get two fences or guides to help align repeated parts or to help something from shifting over. Since this is a Galvo laser, you will not have anything really jolting around like if it's like a, a gantry. So this is more for like repetitive parts. If you're going to just take one part, put one on, it is definitely great to have. Adjusting the focus on the laser is rather simple. You use this crank on the top and you could just turn it one way or the other to make it go up or down. And you're just going to align the two dots and on your material. Once the two dots meet, then you are in focus. That is pretty simple. You can also use the supplied ruler to manually focus it if you so choose without using the laser dots. Safety is paramount. Please make sure that you and anyone else that's using the laser or in the area are wearing appropriate eye protection and use an exhaust system to ventilate outside. Now currently the Compact 60 from OnTech is $4,599. You're saving about $400 right now. And I do realize that this may be out of price range for some and they do offer some lower power lasers that are very comparable 
and maybe you just don't need to etch as deep. But, you know, those can most likely suit your needs as well. I started out with a smaller fiber laser and I just gradually went into more higher power. Again, this could do color marking. It's 0 0.01 millimeters accuracy. 10,000 millimeters per second does some pretty nice colors. And you can engrave lots of materials, lots of metals, including stone and some hard plastics. And this is also a US based company. You get a two year warranty and it offers US support. So if you're looking for maybe again a um, lower model, they do have those as well. Now, Omtech does offer other versions and say that you want maybe this 20 watt and it's 2729. Offers the same warranty, US support, and it may be good for you. And that brings us to today's video sponsor, PCB Way. Are you looking for a PCB manufacturer? Are you looking for rigid, flexible PCBs? Are you looking for them to assemble them for you? Well, they can. And they also offer other services such as 3D printing, injected molding, and CNC. Heck, they even have a community section where you could buy a project and assemble it on your own. If you're looking for any of these services, please reach out to PCB Way. I've always wanted to remove rust from my tools and fiber laser is good for that. So speed of 2000, frequency 20, max power 70. And we're gonna try two passes on some pliers. You'll see that these uh, pliers are kind of pitted and rusted. So if we do some uh, pretty quick passes on this, we should be able to get rid of some of this rust pretty easily. It was my suggestion that uh, when you are testing with materials is to try higher speeds and lower powers first because you're not removing as much material and typically you can recover um, with your engraving later on with a lower speed and a higher power. Also test in areas uh, that you may not see as much. I mean, this is a pretty rusted, uh, at least the head of it, a pair of pliers. So I'm really not too concerned, but so far I am seeing a lot of rust being removed and it definitely took a lot more passes than I thought. I originally thought that two passes were going to be it, but that is definitely not the case. And that is definitely one of the benefits of doing the faster speeds and the lower power is that I could just test a little bit more without harming as much material. And this went up taking four passes to complete. And you can see how nice and clean this is. Now, of course, there might be a little bit of pitting as you can see in discoloration, but otherwise all that rust is gone. That came out rather nice. So let's go ahead and try a few more. So now we're gonna try the same settings on this pair of pliers. I've had these pair of pliers for well over 30 years, I think. Um, it was one of my first pair of needle nose pliers and I actually engraved a tripod's garage on it previously with this laser. And uh, I just wanna see how well I could clean up the rust on this. And you can see um, it did a pretty darn good job. And you can pick it up, you can see the, you know, the little uh, <laughs> divots in there. but. Overall, it came out really nice, and I'm just going to go ahead and oil up the center there. And you can, again, mark your tools like I did here in the center. It says Tripod's Garage. And yeah, there you go. Hopefully it doesn't grow legs and walk away. It seems like everything around me grows legs and walks away but me. So let's go ahead and try another pair of pliers to remove the rust. So let's try one more tool to help clean it up, remove rusts and contaminants off the surface. This is just another pair of needle noses. And you'll notice also that I've had white paper underneath and the white paper hasn't been touched, nothing. It's like, it's not affected. You could actually use white paper as a uh, way to protect your build surface from the fiber laser. As you see, it's not doing anything to it. It's just cleaning up the, the rust on this pair of needle nose pliers, rather nicely, I may add, and it's doing nothing to the surface of the machine. So it's just a quick way to protect uh, your build surface if you're just doing simple things like this. And you can see that the laser is just getting to every nook and cranny of these needle nose pliers, and I think this is literally the best transformation yet. Now, if you're looking to personalize tools with special engraving or actually removing rust, 
fiber laser, even MOPA, will be definitely one of the tools that you may want to have. Now this pair of pliers might be on someone else's channel, Vcor. Yes, Vcor, I've been watching his videos for years. He does many fixes and repairs with nice, funny, dry humor, and he gets to the point of how to fix cars and very educational, great guy. Um, and he's going to be linked in the video description below. I'll be on his channel as well as he'll be on mine with some of the products that we're going to be engraving. So please give him a follow. So his slogan is drive, crash, fix, repeat. And for his visit, I wanted to make some slate coasters. So we're doing a speed of 1000, frequency 25, max power 90, and a Q pulse width 200 with three passes. Now I know what you might be thinking. If you've worked with lasers before, that's pretty high power. Um, yeah, actually it is, but I wanted to get some deep engraving on this. So I, this is why I'm doing three passes. This is at real time. And that way, you know, you can just actually feel it instead of just engraving the surface of it, basically. So at least this has a, some type of feel to it. And you can see the contrast is really nice. And this is where the fencing comes into place. You could just go ahead and rinse and repeat. Well, for V chords, crash, fix, repeat. But once it's done, you just pick it up, make sure it's the way you want it, and then you just place one down, and then you just do it over and over again. Very simple and easy money. So let's go ahead and try something else. Now I've done lots and lots of laser reviews, and I was actually getting um, some um, problems with creativity, so to speak, on what to engrave next. And, um, well, Scott from Beauty Core, he um, said, here, here's my hammer. Can you engrave something on it? Now, if you follow him as long as I have on his channel, this will make perfect sense. Let's just say that this um, hammer is a tribute to the trolls that are on his channel or saying that he doesn't use the correct um, tools for the job. Well, no, visually it is the right tool for the job. Now, this hammer has some weight to it and this came out excellent. I mean, the contrast is there and you can see it from a nice distance. And wow, this, this MOPA laser is something. Now, Scott is all about quality tools. So I wanted to give him a little bit of a gift, a departing gift. So what we're gonna do is um, engrave something special that he says quite often on his channel. So this is at 300, frequency 20, max power 80, um, Q pith uh, 200, and we're actually going to do three passes because I just wasn't happy with how deep it was engraving on its first two passes. I wanted to be able to really feel the engraving. And you can see, again, nice contrast on this. You want to make sure that, again, that you are venting outside or with a nice uh, fume extraction unit or a air purifier that like what I'm using right here. Because you're literally vaporizing metal and those particulates are going somewhere. So if you're not extracting them, uh, well, I suggest not being anywhere close to it. Again, just use a nice extraction unit, you know, a, some type of extraction fan or a air purifier like what I am using. You can actually see the particulates in the hose as it's sucking it in. But wow, look at this. Look at the contrast of this. And that fencing definitely helped for it uh, not moving around. So I just cleaned it up a little bit. Torqued to manufacturer spec. Click. Very nice. Nice gift for someone. Personalized. You could also just personalize your own tools. I'm all about it. So what are my thoughts of the MOPA Compact 60? Well, everything just worked out of the box. I know, shocking, right? But yeah, I mean, that's what I want. I want things to work when they are shipped to me. And it just did. Everything was packed really well. Assembly was very quick and it just engraved beautifully. Now, just a couple negatives. 
At this price point, I really believe that this should have a motorized Z. I mean, you have machines that are at this price point with a motorized Z. I think that this one should definitely have it. And that's really it. I mean, if you're looking for a lower price machine that is very capable, Omtech has you covered with that as well. And I really do like that it has the two year warranty and uh, US support if you are in the US. Again, affiliate links will be down in the description. It does not cost you any more money, but it does help with the channel. So I really appreciate you tuning in to Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you the next time on Tripod's Garage.